So guys, you know we love a challenge and I'm yet to win a challenge yet. So we've come out today to make the most of the twilight and have a four hole competition. We've got four par threes, but with a bit of a twist, I've actually treated us to our own set of clubs that we can share and we're gonna actually use for this video. So are you ready to see our new clubs? Danny boy, show us the clubs. Well, these are what I would call vintage. Um, are they called Brontes? Bronte. Um, obviously it's a bit of a half set there, um, I, I don't know what date that these were uh, first introduced. Check out, like the, the 70s. check out the driver. The driver. Look at that, a one and a half wood and a three yeah, wood. And a three. Look at that. I mean I can't play with decent clubs so I'm not sure how this is going to go. You might actually win one of these challenges now. But In fact it's quite funny because I think we actually got a bit of abuse from someone saying he could beat us with two sticks. So we're going to see if we can beat each other with two sticks. See how it goes. So we've arrived at the first hole, par three. Flags down there, nice and straight. Only real obstacle is a bunker that's on the left of the green. 139 yards to the front of the green. Now I've got no idea what club I'm going to be using because I don't know how far these go. What do you reckon you're going to hit then, driver? Um, I'm not sure actually. I might, yeah, I think I might even go for the driver, but <laughs> I can't really. Other than that, there's a four in there, but I'm not feeling that confident looking at the size of that. Not feeling that confident <laughs> of any of them. The size of them. Yeah. Like the mummy of the Ricky Fowler blades that he's just released. The Cobra ones. I have to top the wedge. Yeah. Right, <laughs> let's get away. So, Matt's up first. I'm going for the Bronte 8 iron. Yeah. Let's have some of this. Never ever hit this club in my life. Not even been on the range. Immediate faults is it's about half the size of my club. Feels quite heavy actually, and the grip feels weird. But let's see what happens. Towards that bunker. In all fairness, that's not a bad shot at all. To be fair, the last few times I've played this hole, I've chunked it into them trees, so I might actually swap out my clubs and play with the Brontes forever. Is this the first time you've actually played with a golf club that was made in the same era as you? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I mean, look at the workmanship on that. There you are, that is why it's called a wood. Stan's gone for the one and a half wood. Yeah, who knows how this is going to turn out, but we're going to see. Not a great hit, but the end result, you're dancing. Ah, oh, just on the back. Not a bad, I'm not being bad, that's not bad. I think that's actually better than my hybrid. I can't even, I mean. You can't slag off your hybrid. The weight in the head, I was, I'm actually shocked. I mean, you've got the two screws in there as well, but I'm actually shocked at that. I'm better than I expected. I'll see if he's saying the same thing after we played the four par threes. <laughs> yeah. Not bad, not bad shot with that club. I'm going to try a golf mates, but instead of a seven iron bumper run, I'm going to go with an eight because that's the only one we've got in the bag. So I'm going to try a little eight iron bumper and run. Greens are running quite fast today, so hopefully they should be all right. No, oh, didn't hit hard enough. Not enough. Useless. So here's Dan, carried the whole green, just in the rough. He's copying me going for the eight iron as well. Well, I'm copying Liam Harrison from Golf Mates, but I've adopted that shot. In a bad way. Pretty fast, it is downhill though. No stopping that. Downhill. Fast greens. Matt's found himself short after that shot. Try again, another eight iron bum from run. Just come round here and just show the front of that club how small it is. They're just tiny compared to, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but they're just, there's just nothing there. They're so thin, like butter knives. Never played with clubs like this.
Well, at least I'm on the green, but still under hit that massively as well. To do. Next on, putting. Dan's got the putter out of the set. This is the putter. It's like a lump of lead on the end of a plastic shaft, which is must be I've more seen. than a senior flex because it's so so bendy. I've seen someone on the tour use something similar. Obviously, a lot better standard than this. But how many years ago? No, recently he uses this style, similar style. The par. He doesn't want to see that go in. I didn't want to see that go in. That's one up for me. One nil Dan. This is the bogey for me, isn't it? Even this putt is horrible. When you're used to a blade putt, a mallet putter, a blade putt is horrible. No. Definitely the hole to you then. Yeah. I'll take a par with those. Ah, ones. useless. So, fast forward a few holes and we're actually at the second hole of the challenge. So another par three, 120 yards from the yellows where we're going to be playing. I actually love this hole. It's proper like link style hole. Some nasty big bunkers there, rough around the back of the green and to the left of the green. Not that you can see it from the video here, but there's a nasty old crate that used to be an old bunker. So let's see how we get on. So Dan's up first. He's got the honours because he won the first par three. What club are you going for out of the old vintage Bronte bag? Well, I've not got much choice in all honesty, but I'm going to go with the eight. There we have it. Again, look how thin that is. Proper blade. It is. Use that to butter your toast. Yeah. So here we have it. Look at this hole. Beautiful. Course is looking great as well down here at Garran Park today. Oh, you got lucky there, just over the bunker. Yeah, it wasn't a clean strike, but not in too much danger. I was saying to Dan as well before the hole that we want to avoid the bunkers or that dip down there because this wedge hasn't got much grip, uh, much loft whatsoever. So Matt, your turn, you're up next. What are you using? I'm going with the wedge. I did think it was a free iron at first, but I saw the loft on it. It's a wedge, but I don't know how lofted it is. So I don't really know where this is, how short this is going to go really, but it's either that or an eight iron. We'll soon find out. We will. Well, that's work to do. That is. That's work to do. That's not what I needed being one nil down already, but game on. Game on, indeed. So, that's a tee box, and this, buried down there, that's the lie. Things is hard enough hitting, it's hard enough if you said play with your clubs, let alone these, these things. Right, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this, going to need something miraculous. I'm in, that, I'm in that nasty crater now, aren't I? Yep. Yep. See if I can do a flop shot with the with the wedge. Got to do some sort Not bad of though. recovery. Hit out the top of the club. Near, near, nearish the middle. Well, Don't normally get out the middle. Facing the wrong way then, obviously. I was. So yet again, Dan has got away with not too bad of a tee shot. He's just off the edge of the green. What are you going with for this shot? I'm going to use the wedge. Great club that. Yeah, I'm hoping it'll do you some damage. Yeah. That's Brilliant. Great. Didn't commit to that at all. That is fabulous. Great stuff. Shocking. Both of, had two shots, both not on the green. No. Place to be. So, Matt's there. This is the crater I was talking about. To be fair, I'm not in the worst place I could have been. But let's see what we can do here. If I can stick this near the pin, I've got a chance of stealing this hole as well. So all the pressure's on this shot. I'm 
not hard enough. I'm on the green for free, but it's all to play for. So yet again, he's got a par putt. The last one was a great putt. Can he do the same again? I'm hoping no. Close, but no cigar. Not good. To open the gate for me. To steal victory. Lengthy part as well. What's this for? This is for four, so I've got to get this in. And you've got to do that to, to draw with me. Wide. What a hideous putt. Not feeling confident now, I tell you. Can Dan go 2 0 up on this four hole challenge today? Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Hole two, two, nil. two nil, Dan. Is it going to be perfect freeze? We're playing a par three challenge. We're on the third par three, which happens to be the third hole on the west course at Garrens. And if Dan wins this, he wins a challenge 3 0. Or am I going to win? Let's find out. We've got a reoccurring theme here. Dan's tearing off again because he's got the honours of winning the whole last time. So this time we've got another par 3, about 120 yards it is again, surrounded by bunkers and over the back a lake. So you need an accurate tee shot. What are you going to use to have an accurate tee shot? I'm going to go with the 8, but obviously it's only a half set of vintage clubs, so it's a bit restricted, so between that and the pitching wedge, I've got to go for the 8 just to make sure. Let's have a look, see how he gets on. No pressure. No. So hoping he tops it. No, he's left Not it enough. short. Not enough distance. But Dan always does say, if your bad shots can go straight, that's not too bad. Yeah. Matt's up next. Using the vintage set. Back on the wedge. Back on the pitching wedge. Let's hope for a better tee shot than the last tee shot I had. If I just hit the ball, it'd be better. Ah, oh. thought it was going to hold on. Not too bad, not too bad. I tell you, you feel every single shot through these clubs. They're not a pleasant club to hit, I tell you. Not that I hit it right out of the toe, but you Basically, feel. Anyone that's not good at golf. Don't buy these. Feel, you're going to feel what it's like <laughs> to hit those clubs. Blade. He's trying to make his mind up. What are you gone for? I've gone for the wedge this time. I'm not quite sure of the loft of it. Doesn't seem. I think it's more. There's more loft on this than there is on my my pitching wedge. I think mine are strong lofted ones anyway. Not got too far to go. Probably ten yards to the edge of the green. Maybe a little bit more. That ain't a bad chip. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Right choice of club. Just turn the screw there. Exactly. Alright, so Matt's ended up just off the green. Not a bad first shot. Hopefully I can have a better second shot. Going with the eight. For a little bump and run. Not too bad, but didn't really a bump. Work to do. He's still better position than I am. All down to the putting now. The Dan, he's on for a par putt again. If he holds this, it's challenge over, which I'm really hoping it isn't. So no pressure. Beautiful. That's pretty poor. That's, That's absolutely the beautiful. I've done so far. It's my favourite part of yours of the day. Yeah, I bet. And Matt's got this to win the hole. Take it 2-1. <laughs> I 
this one, putter's mate. horrible. Pressure's getting to him again. It's not the pressure, it's a putter. <laughs> Tell ya. Right. Who's next? I think it's you still. Oh. Yeah, maybe. Sink <laughs> this then. So you've got a slight advantage because you've got a bladed putter anyway. I'm, oh, here we go. I'm Mr. Mallet. I didn't make the club that was made in the 70s. That's not enough. That means I've got two putts, one to win the hole and one <laughs> to draw it. To draw it, and that will be enough because I'm already 2 0 up. So, is Dan going to ruin my life even more and ruin my day? Oh, <laughs> That's what happens when you go for it. He's I spooked. Should've... He's spooked. I shouldn't have gone for it, I should have just got it close. Schoolboy era, that. But it doesn't matter. Another challenge to me. There you have it, guys. Another challenge down, another challenge I haven't won. I just don't perform well under pressure of the camera, but there we go. Congratulations, Dan, on your victory. I'll get you again before you have your up. <laughs> <laughs>